All right, how's it going? Charles Botenston here. We are continuing with the habits. You can notice that the background is a little bit different. I got feedback from you guys. I don't get offended. I'm not emotional. Someone said your background looks old school. Someone said take out the music. So we took out the music. We did the background. I agreed with both of them. Sometimes people say to do things and I don't, which is limit the amount of talking you do or can you put the whole video up instead of this just to piece together. And there's a, a couple things that I, I say yes and no to. So part two, I don't know if I actually talked about this yesterday because I do so much shit during the day, like all of us. And I put that in quotes because typically we're actually just on our cellular device, which we'll, we'll talk about actually uh, what's on my home screen and what is not on my home screen, which is actually just as important. And we're, let's just go right into that. So essentially I made a video, go check it out. It's about why I deleted Instagram and Facebook, not the account, but the app from my phone. And essentially I was leaving work one day and I, I had this, and it was Saturday. Actually it was a Saturday. It was beautiful out and people were just, roaming around the streets. I live in New York City and they're roaming around the streets just smiling and laughing and having a good time. And I just felt like shit. And I had this, this, this weird pain that wrapped around my body. And I, I'm not gonna go into all of it because I had a, a whole video about why I actually deleted it. But I went home and I said, something's gotta give. Something's gotta give. I then read this book uh, shortly thereafter, you know, by the, the grace of the universe. I started putting things in my way that would make it harder for me to get distracted. So I started eliminating websites. There's something called Facebook Eradicated, which means that you don't see the Facebook feed. There, there's another app, I have it up right now, and it, well, it's, it's a Google Chrome, and it essentially, I boomerang, which means boomerang is a Google app. So in other words, I don't see my inbox. It's a folder that everything gets directed into. Facebook Eradicator, Momentum is another one, Ad Blocker. Let's see, where's this one? I Blocking websites. So I don't actually have it up. And one of the biggest things was I was on YouTube for too long in the morning and when I was grabbing lunch. So in other words, I would come back to my office from grabbing lunch and instead of doing you know half an hour of eating, I would do 45 minutes of eating and watching YouTube and I'll make the, the excuse of saying, well, you know, I'm just, I'm learning. I'm, I'm learning, I'm gaining information, so it's worth the 45 minutes. And then I, I started mapping it out and I said 15 minutes times five days times the amount of year or weeks in a year, that's a lot of time. That's a lot of time, that extra 15 minutes that I don't have to be learning. It's more about taking action at this point for me because I've been going at it for 10 years. So I had to put things in my way of actually making it harder to actually go on social media or get distracted. And then I had to make it easier for me not to do that. So that's why I deleted the apps. That's why I have my gym clothes out in the morning. That's why I put my work clothes ready to be folded and put it in my gym bag. I, I make it easy for my morning routine to happen because it's about five in the morning, 5.15 sometimes, and I have to just get ready, do my affirmations, do my journaling, do my meditation and things like that. I need it to be as easy as possible because like this morning, I didn't have a good night's sleep and you know I can equate it to what I had last night, but you have to put things in your way. So the best example that he said is that if TV, I don't own a TV, but if you had a TV is that take the batteries out of your remote and put them in your kitchen. So you have to go to your kitchen, get the batteries, put it into, into the remote, and then you turn on the TV. If you want to go extreme, you take the TV and you unplug it, or you take the TV and you put it in the closet. So anytime you watch it and it's, it's, it's like, ha ha ha, that's so funny, but you have to make it harder for you to get distracted because essentially, that, as they say in Homo Deus, which is probably one of the better books out there when it comes to, you know, obviously the future and everything, Yuval, by don't know his last name, he also wrote Sapiens, and he said, kind of like Cal Newport, Cal Newport wrote a book, Deep Work, if you can block time out and you can't do what you want to do, you're going to be unhappy because you're not doing what you want to do and you're going to blame it on other things and then you're going to regret it at the end of your life if you really fast forward it, as Tony Robbins says, as Jeff Bezos says, he fast forwards himself to 75 years old and say, would I regret not doing this or would I regret doing this? And then that's how he lives his life present day. It's all about the mastering, it's all about mastering showing up. This is, this, my, my friends, is everything. You know, I, I, I heard it a while ago, obviously, 
I forget the quote, but 90% is just showing up or whatever the case is. And, and then there's the, the Wayne Gretzky quote, which is, I, I just go to where the puck is going to be. So in other words, wherever the technology is going to be or wherever my habit is going to be for health, which is at the gym, sales calls, which is on the phone. That's why I have this device right here. It's a headset. I just call. It's easy for me to make my sales calls every single morning. And it really is about showing up. It's about showing up at the gym. So yesterday I talked about the two minute rule, which the two minute rule is that you can't focus on the full habit of waking up, putting on your shoes, driving or taking transportation to the gym, working out for 30 minutes, then showering, then going to work. He said, you have to, you have to focus on the first two minutes. Put your shoes with your socks right by your bed. Ha lay at your gym clothes, which I do. So in other words, the initiation energy which obviously if you're in science, I'm gonna to totally butcher this, but the initiation energy to do anything, if it's a big gap, it takes a lot of initiation energy to get it rolling. So in other words, to get a train rolling as opposed to a ball rolling. So you wanna get the ball rolling by putting your shoes there, but if you think about the whole act of going to the gym and, and doing all that jazz of getting pumped up for it, you're not gonna do it. Focus on the first two minutes of the habit. In the first two minutes of the habit, it's really hard to go into the kitchen, get the batteries, put in the remote, plug in the TV. That's the initiation energy. You have to make the initiation on bad habits really large so you actually are thinking about it to the whole extent that I'm going to the kitchen to watch TV, getting the batteries, things like that. This, is, this thing hit, hit me like a ton of bricks. The habit must be established before it is improved. This is analysis paralysis. This is whatever you want to call it. A lot of people, they buy $1,000 worth of running gear and shoes and r pants and, and just shirts and everything else. Meanwhile, just go out and run. Just go to the gym. You know, a lot of people say, I need to get my objections straight. I need to get my, my, my script ready. Yes, that's important. Make the sales calls first. You know, I, I gotta make sure that I, I look amazing. I did this for years, man. I'm just literally thinking about the amount of things I did not start because I needed more information. I put that in quotes because I didn't need more information. That was my excuse for not doing it. I need to learn about how to talk to a pretty girl that I really wanna talk to. I need to learn how to network. Yes, but you also have to, as I said in the beginning, show up at the networking event, show up in that person's life, say hi. Then you actually come back and say, okay, what worked, what didn't work? Why am I net not networking with this person? Why are my sales calls, the ratio of sales calls to appointments is not that good? Continuing on, goals versus systems. You have the goal of what you want to do. That It's always outcome oriented, money oriented, body, you know, I want a six pack, I want a million dollars, I want a girlfriend, I want kids, I want a house, whatever the case is. What, what systems did you, do you need to put in, in place to actually make that happen? That's the biggest thing. What systems do you need to do to make sure that actually happens in your life? It's all about the systems. The system is, I gotta make five calls a day to make a million dollars. I need to save $150 a day, a week, a month, whatever it is, to retire properly in years, and then you add up from there. So you have the goal, which is, which is in the vision, which is the future, and then you have the system to actually get there, continuing on. You do not rise to the level of your goals, you fall to the level of your systems. So your system is, I don't go to the gym, why not? You can't blame your bad body on not going to the gym, it's you have no system for going to the gym. You can't blame your lack of income because you're not reaching out to anyone. So you don't, you don't actually go to your goals your goal is to make a million dollars, to be in a relationship, but you have no system to actually get there. So you fall to the level of your system, you don't rise to your goal. Incentives to start a habit, you have to identify yourself as that person. So in other words, if I start going to the gym, five days a week, four days a week, three days a week, you actually start identifying yourself as a gym goer, as someone that makes sales calls, as someone that talks to someone that they really want to about getting business or about you know disciplining properly if you're a parent, whatever the case is. You know, starting a business, I've done all the information, let's launch, let's look at the website, let's look at the dot com, LLC, make sure that we patent it or trademark it. Scale, I already talked about the scale down to two minutes, remove friction from habits you want to do. Remove friction is sign up to a gym that's really close to you that you can walk to. You don't even need a car. You know, removing friction is have a salad in your refrigerator instead of Coca-Cola or bad food. Removing friction makes it a lot easier for you to do what you need to do instead of actually going in to your refrigerator and then you have alcohol. The author actually brought up a, a story that he would he would open his refrigerator and there was a beer there, or there was beer there, and, plural. 
And he said that he would actually, because he saw it, he said he needed to just have one. He just needed to drink it. You know, for me, if it's right there, I'm the same way. So he had to remove the friction. So what he did was, or I'm sorry, add in friction, because it was a bad habit, he didn't want to drink at night, is that he moved it to the back of the refrigerator. So when he opened the refrigerator, he didn't see it. So he had to consciously go and get it. You see this in grocery stores. What you see when you first walk in are purchases, impulse purchases. Okay, those are things that you can easily add to your shopping cart. You don't see milk when you, when you walk into a shopping mart. You don't see meats or any, anything along the aisles. I, I'm, I'm sorry, along the outside. But in the middle of the aisles are the impulse purchases. Cookies, snacks, Pepsi, Coca-Cola, $1 items, $2 items, magazines. Those are impulse purchases. You have to habit stack. So habit stack is you start one, you can't do multiple habits at the same time. Try it. I've, I've tried it for 10 years, I can't. But what happens is I start going to the gym consistently, I come into work, and then my sales calls are better. My sales calls are better, and then I start approaching girls that I want to on the street. So it didn't start with approaching girls on the street, it started with going to the gym. Then I layered in, layered in sales calls. Then I layered in other things that I wanted to do. But the thing is you have to get the systems in the beginning, your, as they, they call it, your keystone habit. The, the, the keystone is the stone on a bridge which is in the middle because if you don't have that middle part of a bridge, it just collapses. So you have that keystone habit Mine is going to the gym. Some people it's meditating. Some people it's eating properly. Some people it's not going on their, their phone. Some people it's sitting down with their kids. Jeff Bezos, he gets into work at 10 a.m. He does deep work session, only important meetings. I don't know how he does it, to be honest. Join a group that will hold you accountable. Okay, your group is everything. I was at the gym today, there's three guys that we go there and we just kick each other's ass. We, we've upped our weight, we've upped our intensity, we've upped how often we go to the gym, we say, what are you doing, where are you going, and we hold each other accountable, and then if there's a guy gone, we always say, are you away? Because if we don't see that person, we say, he, he has to be away. It's all about your accountability. You could put this online, you could put it on your blog, you put it on social media, or the best case is you have someone that rides with you if you wanna get into cycling. You have someone that runs with you if you wanna become a marathoner or a runner. You have someone at the gym that will hold you accountable. I have three guys that hold me accountable, so when they don't see me, they're like, what happened? Where, where were you? You weren't here. And then you kind of feel bad. You feel weird. You're letting them down. That's what you need. Always miss one day if you need to, never two. Never two days. Everything about one day. I know that if I miss two days, it's easy to miss three. Then it's already Thursday, then it's Friday, and then I miss the week. That never happens with the gym. Maybe I'm hungover one day, or maybe I'm really tired and I say, you know, I've worked out for 10 straight days or eight straight days. I deserve a day off. But I never do two days off because I know that, and I've done this with the gym. I want to do it with sales calls and I want to do it with other areas of my life where I don't want to miss. Also get apps. The app that I have is Strides. So Strides is, you can have as many, I don't know, it, I think it's free, but I have Strides, which is a great app. You record how many calls you did, how many push-ups you did, did you go to the gym, and then you just have a frequency throughout the month. And the last thing is our hardware is being present, but our current environment is the late, or this is such a great quote, this is the last thing I'll leave you guys with, is that our hardware is about immediate gratification. Our software and our hardware are millions of years old. Our body says we haven't seen sugar in a while. We need to eat that. We need that honey. We need that, that syrup. We need that fruit. We need that cookie. We need that ice cream. We need that alcohol. We need that because our hardware and our software are millions of years old. And it's not just homo sapiens. It's not just apes. It's way before apes. This is, this is just biologically just in, it's innate. It's innate. It's innate, evolutionary psychology and evolutionary biology. Highly recommend you just go down the track of what we do and all the decisions we make. Go all the way back, millions of years, when we were just a single cell organism, you know, asexually procreating until we came, you know, and we started sexually procreating, which means two. You have to understand our world is set up to be distracted. Our world is set up for immediate gratification. But obviously, as the marshmallow attests to, is that if you actually go out, and you delay the gratification, you will be fine. But that's the hard thing. You have to delay the gratification of going on social media, going on YouTube, watching these videos, watching more videos. Put friction in your way. Delete the apps. Make sure you put up 
not only apps here, but you could donate to a friend. I had that with, I wanted to make sales calls and I wanted to approach at least one person a day that I wanted to talk to. So I said, here's a thousand dollars to a area that, or I'm sorry, a, an organization I did not want to donate to. In other words, it was a political party I did not want to donate to. And I said, hold this check. If I don't do it, you, you send it out. And it was already addressed to them. It was already taken out of my account. And it just, it kicked my ass. It did. You know, it started in November 2018 and uh, it was probably one of the best things that I could have done because then I started habit, habit stacking, then I started removing friction on habits I wanted to start. I started to increase the friction on things that I wanted to move away from, which was social media, which was YouTube, which was storing, which is watching Instagram stories and things like that. So pick up the book. It's linked below. Yes, it's Amazon. If you don't want to pay the whatever it's the same price but obviously i get whatever amount of cents just buy the book okay that's everything just buy the book because it is you know i've charles duhigg power of habits and a couple of mini habits uh, I, I've read it all, you know, what's the other one? Morning Routine or, or Miracle Morning, another great one. But they don't really talk about in depth that James Clear, who's, and highly recommend you listen to his keynotes and you go to his blogs, blog, jamesclear.com. It's unbelievable. I've been totally obsessed with them for the last month and my life is totally different. So highly recommend you pick up the book. Any questions, leave in the comments below. If you want me to read something else, also leave it below. Have an amazing day. Talk to you guys soon.